So last week, Halo dropped their new text video director model. Essentially, it allows users to control camera motion just like how a professional director would in a film. And before I show you guys how it works, let's have a look at some community posts showcasing the actual model itself. Now here's the first generation from Pierrick and he's got this close up of a warrior and you can just see there the camera motion and just how it moves very nicely well done. This next one's really cool because it has a very nice zoom in and then it pans to the left and focuses on that uh, creature in the back. So this one is actually really nice. This next one from Wuxia Rocks, I really like this one because it appears to be a tracking shot, but it looks like there's a few other elements that have been added into it as well. So this one's really good. This one's also good as well. And the reason why I like it is because it, at the start, it's not necessarily focusing on the actual character and until the end. So this is definitely used in cinematic films all the time. Here's another one and you can see there it's uh, zooming out and I've seen this in movies before um, like we're zoomed in we don't know what's going on but when you zoom out then you get the bigger picture so this one was really good. Then we got this one here from Marcio very similar zoomed in it, it doesn't necessarily zoom out it sort of pans to the left and then it starts tracking the other guys so this one was kind of cool. Now let's have a look and see how it works. All right, so when we click create, it will take us here. Now, the important thing is that this is only available for their text to video model. When we go down here, you'll be able to see the new director and it says control camera mo movements like a professional director. Now, when you click here, this is where you'll see the breakup in the options. So the first options on the left here are all cinematic shots. There's about nine to select. And then there's free selection as well, which gives you the option to select up to three different options here. So let's have a look at these cinematic shots first. First, we have left circling. Have you guys ever seen moments in movies where the camera moves around a character, making them look insanely powerful? Well, that's a left circling shot. Now, right circling, it's got a similar effect, but it's often used in face-offs or when you want to slowly build tension between characters. All right, now let's talk about upward tilts and the easiest way to make someone look like an absolute boss, you start the camera low and then you tilt up to reveal the subject. Now let's flip it. A downward tilt does the opposite. It makes the character look small, weak or vulnerable. Next up is left walking. And this is where the camera moves left and it follows the character as they walk. And it's great for creating a sense of movement, journey or progress. And then we have right walking, which works just like left walking, but moving in the opposite direction, obviously. You'll see this used in crime films or spy movies when someone's being followed or when a character is confidently walking towards their destination. Then there's stage left shots. And if you've ever watched a concert film, Broadway show or a live performance, you've seen this one in action. And of course, we also have stage right, same concept, but moving right. And this is great when you wanna highlight a grand entrance, a performer's final bow, or even an important speech on stage. And this last one is actually my favorite, the scenic shot. And this is where you let the environment do all the talking. Big landscapes, stunning views, massive waterfalls. This is the type of shot when you see it in movies and you're pretty much like, oh my God, that's so nice. Now I've written a quick prompt here, just as an example, a man walks into a bar and when I click into the camera options, let's say I click left circling, you'll see there it's added the camera motion automatically for me. Now, if I was going to do it manually and I go to free selection, I can do tracking shot, I can do pedestal up, and I can do pan right. And it's just, it's pretty much, that's how easy it is. Now I wanna show you this one specific one, which is quite interesting actually. And the prompt will be a man sitting at a bar. And what I wanna do is I actually want to select a static shot. And let's generate that so I can show you guys what I mean. Now, whilst that's generating, here's an example that I did before. A woman sits at a cafe deep in thought, staring at a coffee cup as rain trickles down into the window besides her. And you can see there I've selected static shot. And look at that. Have you noticed that the camera is not moving, not one bit? Now, some of you probably know what I'm talking about. And some of you are probably thinking it's not a big deal, dude. Now, to explain it, if you've ever used 
previous video generation models, there's never actually been an option to select a static shot. Usually you'd have to write something like camera stay still, and even then it doesn't listen. So this is actually very important, especially when we're talking about the context of films. All right, so this one's done. It's not the uh, best shot. Obviously, I didn't enter a best prompt, but look at that. You can see there, the camera is not moving at all. It's very important. Great work, Halo. Another option that I love that they added is this tracking shot. And this is really good because you'll know when you enter this, it's going to focus and track that character at all times. And I just love how these come out here. Here's a bunch of examples that I've generated. So what are my final thoughts of the new director model? I think it gives the users more control of how the generation will turn out, which in this case will save you in having to constantly generate them multiple times just to try to get that camera motion. I guess you could say that it now has more of an option to focus on the quality as well. Anyway, it's a win for me. It's another feature that's definitely useful. I'm giving this a win for Halo. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.